sorry for no video yesterday, so I'm already apologizing for that. I had a really rough day yesterday, unfortunately. Unfortunately, my daughter went back into the mental ward again because she couldn't have a phone, so she threatened herself again, and now she's in a mental ward again. Basically because of SG7, a galaxy or whatever. Whatever, it's not, I'm not going to get into it. This girl just does it all the freaking time. Then I get phone calls from my parents sitting there saying, well, I didn't even get phone calls this time. I actually just called them to actually tell them the good news. Um, and let me explain what the good news is. Um, I have an interview with Publix on the 17th, and hopefully I can get the job. I've had literally two interviews before them, and, well, I didn't get the job. I keep having all these interviews and I don't ever land a job. I'm so not understanding it. I've worked on with my skills on interviewing with my friends. It's just, I'm not nailing it. I'm not nailing it. I'm better with YouTube, no joke, than I am out there in the world. Go figure on that one. Whatever. Who cares? YouTube's a lot better anyways. I'm sorry. Working for YouTube's a lot better. It's very difficult. It's very hard. I'm not going to lie about it because I barely, um, hell, I'll be honest with you, I haven't made a damn dime. Ugh. That's because all beginners really struggle the most. Whatever, we're all here in the same situation. If you're a beginner or you're under a thousand subscribers, you we all know we're, how much struggle we're going through. It's hell, man. All the ones above us is like, boom, 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 boom. You know, it's like, what the hell, man? I mean, we know what to do. It's just we're having struggle, that's all. And there's nothing wrong with that, guys, so don't take it literally, okay? I'm here with you guys just as, you know, even when I do, whenever that is, get up above a thousand subscribers and all that, I'm still going to sit there and do what I'm doing now. I'm not going to change. Everyone else I've seen, and this is my opinion, I think they do change after they get you know, so many subscribers, and it gets to her head eventually. Me, I, I, my channel is about family, so I'm planning to stick on to, stick to it no matter what. Anyways, you're probably wondering what this glare is. It's my computer, because I put it over here. Because I have a particular things I would like to talk about. Um, and usually I don't have them. Well, you know what I mean. I usually have things to talk about, but then sometimes I forget when I get a camera right off the bat. I'm like, oops, I forgot something. Sorry. Alright, well, let's go on. Um, of course I'm on a dating site. And you're like, why are you telling us that? Like, no, it's, I'm not telling you that I'm on it. I want to tell you, I want to talk about something that one of the questions was brought up on the site. And, uh, it's just very interesting. And I would like to tell you my thoughts, if you don't mind. Okay, here it is. It goes, I spend a lot of time thinking about these following things, and these questions keep popping up in my mind. Now, the whole thing was, in this questionnaire on the dating site, it's, one of the things is, it says, I spend a lot of time thinking about, you know, and then you have to fill in the things down, down below. You know, it's just a complete blank, you can put whatever you want, and I put these. I put seven things that I think about a lot, and then I question it a lot, too. That's why I put, I spend a lot of time thinking about these following things and these questions keep popping up in my mind. I actually put that in below so if people were like, what? I spent, like, what? You know, I always, I'm always self-explanatory constantly. When, okay, here's my first one, because I have seven of them. Here's number one. When will I ever get my happily ever after and does it even exist? And it's true, I question about it all the time. Who doesn't? I mean, come on, people. Nowadays, we have nothing but cheat liars and all that crappy old out there. You never know what you're gonna get when you get them. I mean, and I'm not, let me, let me rephrase it, that didn't come out right. Not everyone's that way, but my God, the ones I've bumped into seem to be going right along that bracket and abusive and da 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 da. And it's like, oh my God, can I please find someone decent? And guess what? The decent ones are usually the ones that are hiding. So it's like, <sighs> it, it, it takes forever. That's why I gave up looking. <laughs> I literally gave up looking. I'm like, screw this. If they like me, they'll come to me. Screw this one. Or, like most people say, once once you give up, you usually find that someone. So maybe that will work for me if I just give up and just don't look for somebody. Who knows? Who knows? We don't know. Uh, second one. Why are people so quick to judge? 
people they don't even know. And I get to, and I see this a lot. People constantly judge other people and they don't even know them right off the bat. It's like when people either, you know, they let's just say for example my family life series or the family series I have or if you want my website or the my website. <laughs> I don't even have one yet. I not story. Um but anyways, um, yes I know, I'm a little down about it, I'd like to eventually have my own site or something. I don't know, I haven't figured that one out. I'm so freaking like, yee-hoo, spinning, like, what direction do I go? I'm happy with the YouTube channel as it is, I don't think I need to add another thing on my plate. <laughs> you know, I'll just start from here and I'll figure which way to go when I get there. But, um, I just, I notice that people are a lot quick to judge on a person's picture or their video or anything and it's like what the hell is wrong with you why don't you just watch the whole thing before you judge it you know the finger up or finger down some people don't even watch the whole thing before they judge it it's like come on people give me a break watch the whole thing then make your official judgment don't sit there and watch maybe a few seconds and then okay I'm done it's like what the hell is that shit and yes I'm actually being some blunt on this one I'm tired of that crap that's what, even if I, even, here's my thing, even if I don't like a video, I'll still watch the full thing before I make my judgment. I don't cut it right off the bat, like most people, although I will admit, I will admit, in the past, in the past, I did that, so I'm going to admit that I have done that in the past, and then sometimes if I'm really on a, uh, flighty day, I've done it too, so I'm guilty on that one. I'm guilty on click, clicking away from the video very quickly, so... Okay, third one. Why people are so judgmental when we all know that they're unhappy with themselves and the only reason why they are judging people is because they can't judge themselves because they think they're perfect when they are not. Yes, you heard it. I actually said it. You better believe it. I'm so tired of it. I There are so many people judging others when they're unhappy with themselves and I've seen it again and again and again. They, they are what we call a hypocrite. They keep judging others with their lies when they're unhappy with themselves. So it's like a bully, basically, what they are. They basically, well, I'm unhappy. Okay, for instance, let's just say I had a size 10 body, perfect hair, perfect lips, teeth, and everything. Just perfect as what most people in society would look at. And then I saw someone like, like myself, like this, I'd be like, oh, her hair's too frizzy, oh, her teeth are crooked, ew, oh, she's got a little fat there, oh my gosh, she needs liposuction, and, you know, I really rip into it, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about, people judging other people. It happens way too often, they judge so quick, they don't get to know the person inside, they judge on the outside. Or, they do get to know them, and they still judge them. Ugh. And yes, I'm on the big character of judgment. I'm tired of people with a judging situation. Quick to judge, not able to give a person a chance. And when they think they know them, they really don't know them, so they still judge them. It's bullshit, if you ask my opinion. Yes, I'm actually bending about this. I am very ha unhappy about it. Okay, fourth one. When, pe when will people accept the real problem is themselves and that they're really, they are th their own enemy in the long run instead of blaming others? Well, this was a good one to actually talk about. Um, people tend to love to blame others, so they find faults with them and all that situation. Let me read this again. When when will people accept the real problem is themselves and that they're really... Um, it's like the blame, the blame game situation. A lot of people love to blame others. They don't want to look at themselves when really, in the long run, it is really them. You know? For instance, oh my teeth are so fucking crooked. And I guess I'm being a little blunt about this one. Oh, they're so crooked. Oh, I, it's the dentist's fault. They didn't do it right. No, 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 fucking it. Come on, people. It's your own fault for not taking care of them or whatever. It's your fault if you don't, your hair's frizzy if you're not taking care of her or whatever. I'm just giving some things. I, I can't even think of a thing. I just make up things that I can think of. <laughs> I'm, I'm rolling with the punches on this one, so whatever. Although, I'm pretty, pretty much, I've got, I'm, I used to have a chip tooth, and I used to get, you know, really, technically, when I got blamed, or not even blamed, but, cruci crucified, not even crucified, but, you know, just, I've been bullied, too, growing up, so, I've got, 
about my looks constantly. Oh, you look ugly. Da, 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 da. And I still get that now. I still get the part of you look ugly. Da, 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 da. I'm like, or you're no good because you have no job. Da, 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 da. I'm like, and the first thing I'm like, I'm like, fuck you and fuck you where you came from because you can go fuck yourself because I'm fucking happy with who I am. You don't like it, you go fuck yourself and go fly high and get the hell out of my house or wherever you are. I'm literally that. I'm seriously, I'm so like that. I mean, I can think so much, I guess, you know, for a lot of the YouTube channels I've actually watched, and it's like, I go back in my memory banks, you know, my memories, and I'm like, why ain't I used to be like, I, you know, the one that was blunt and out and told people, and I'm always scared about people's feelings, and da 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 I'm like, you know what, fuck them. They're not, you know, the ones that don't care about me. The ones that put me down, the ones that don't give me any, you know, any positive things and just come up with negative, 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 negative. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of it. So, I tell them off. I say, I, I tell them, look at them, I say, fuck you, and I walk off. <laughs> and yes, I'm saying it at work. Putting much a lot, I notice. Hey, I'm pissed. I have a right. So do you. We all do. We get our pissy moments, don't we? You might as well call this the honest episode or something, I don't know. Fifth one. Why can't people have compassion who are less fortunate than themselves? Here we go again! Once again, the preps! I'm nailing them to the cross. Not literally. Um, the preppies, the ones that have a lot of money and think everyone below me, like for instance, the high class societies I would call them. Let's see, we have medium, and we have the low class, and then we have the homeless. Either way, all three of these tiers are not good in their eyes. They're not working hard enough, or they're not that great, or, oh my god, get away from me, ew, 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 you have cooties. Oh my fucking god. Ugh. Or, as I got told, and I'm gonna actually go from experience, I had a friend that was rich like crazy. And the reason why we're no longer friends, and we were only friends for a week, because I actually found out the real person behind that person. And they're like, they had like $6,000 every week or whatever, and I'm actually giving real numbers here. And they're like looking at me, oh, you have no job, you're a piece of shit, you're just existing, you're not even a, you're not even a person. I'm like, what the fuck gives you the right to judge? You're a fucking asshole sitting there like the rest of the people up there. Not all people up there, you know, not all high class are like that. There are actually ones that, you know, genuinely care, like for instance, Bill Gates actually cares. That's the only person I can really think of, to be honest, on top of my head. If you can think of more, list them down below in the comments so I can know more about who else is like that. Because believe it or not, I, I, I see too many negative people, so I'm, all, I'm just naming... I mean, Bill Gates is the only one I can think of because I look up to him because he's just a genius. Oh, that, that guy's really amazing what he has done with the world Earth. I know he did something with computers, Microsoft, I think it was. I'm not positive, and if I got that wrong, I'm sorry, but you can go ahead and judge me, whatever, because I don't care. Mm-mm. Okay, anyways. Then you got number six. Where has all the love gone, and why are there so much hate in this world? Biggest question of them all, and I'm going to down pat this right now, and I'm going to say it right now. I am tired of seeing all these hate comments. I am tired of hearing all this hate shit we're going through with YouTube. I am tired of hearing all this hate crap that's going with the LGBTQ situation. I'm not happy with the world being so hatred. It's not, it's ridiculous. Whatever happened to all the love? Are you serious, people? Come on. So let me tell you something, or let, let me, let me come on to this conclusion. So well, let me tell you something about this. You guys are telling me that this world is full of hate, narcissistic, rich bastards who do doesn't give a care about the lower class. Are you telling me that's all we're all about? Or are we all about just nothing but all oh, the trends of, oh, we have to have this new, or we have to have the perfect car, or the perfect body, or the perfect... Give me a fucking break, people. Wake up! When are you going to start realizing that the real heart of everything is being yourself? Who cares of keeping up with the Joneses? Since that's literally where it's going back to when the Joneses had I I've heard this from my parents. I'm not too far I'm not too uh, understanding about the whole situation and what the heck that's about. But I guess back then in the days I guess Joneses was some had a lot of money and everyone kept trying to keep up with them. But hey, I hate to tell you this, if you're gonna do that in real life, you're screwed. 
because no one can keep up with a bitch. I'm telling you that much. No one can. And if you're in the same bracket I'm in, guys, come on, just be yourself. Be yourself, for God's sake. No one wants a fucking robot. We just want you to be you. That's all we want. And I'm saying it very blunt and to the point. We want you to be you. Who cares about what they look like? Who cares if they are the perfect pen? Because that's in their head and all the people that are in their brain cells. Well, not brain cells, but in their particular group. You know, the ones that are narcissistic and all that. And look it up and you know what narcissistic is. No, thank you. I don't need to be a freaking mask like the one in Snow White. The mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? Give me a flying break. I mean, come on, Snow White. The, the queen was a freaking narcissistic person. Hello? And Miss Snow White was just a girl being herself. And she got, was getting persecuted for just that. Her beauty. At least that's what I saw anyways. Give me an opinion down below in your comments. Come on guys, let's do this. Comments, comments, let's do it. Ex express yourself, be there. All right, number seven. Why are there more selfish people in the world than people who help others and don't expect anything in return? I've seen it so too much. There are people saying, I wanna help this person. Then, later on, when they help that person, then they sit there and ask something for a return. That's not helping somebody in return. That's not helping with somebody. You're just making it a burden on their ass. Sorry. I've been through this. All this stuff that I'm talking to you about, I've actually been through this crap again and again and again and again. And I see it constantly, constantly, constantly. And I'm tired of this shit. You know, I really am. And I've seen it with other people going through this crap. This is why I'm always constantly speaking out amongst the, un amongst the underdogs. And yes, I've been an underdog long enough, and I'm tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of this freaking, oh, you gotta be so perfect body, and I gotta be have the perfect car, the perfect house, oh, fucking give me a break. Give me a freaking break. You know what that's proven to me? You're just a freaking Barbie doll that doesn't have two cents in your brain, and if you have them, you're not using it in a while. Sorry. Go fuck yourself, Barbie. Anyways. Yes, I know. I see that a lot, actually. I'll, I'll actually, I'm not afraid. I'll get pissed at people. I'm like, I get to a point, and it's so 360 off this subject. I'll, I'll go get them all. You know what? Go fuck yourself, Barbie. You're like, what do you mean? I don't know. And it can be a, a guy I say this to. And they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, what? You're acting like a narcissistic person. And I don't like it. And I don't. I catch myself sometimes being narcissistic. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta quit doing that, doing that right now. That is not me. That's not the person I want to portray, and that's not me. Why can't people be themselves and just be happy with themselves? Why do others have to constantly judge others on their appearance, on their car, on their house, on their appointment, on their social orientation, which I'm tired of it altogether. I'm tired of all this hatred in this world, and I wish to fucking God that people would just get on. But just like the movie, Miss Congeniality, and I love it when Sandra Bull plays her, you know, Miss <laughs> Miss Le Le Free Bush, I think it was. I love that movie, and it's like she was tormenting. You know, she, you know, if you watch a movie, she, you know got up and defended a guy when he was little and got just watch the movie it's great I love it it portrays it but anyways like she said and I'm gonna say it now myself we need freaking what I call it world peace and it needs to start somewhere and maybe it's time for it now and someone's gotta start it I know all the most Woohoohoo, Miss Congenialities and all the. I'm sorry, I've actually met a pageant queen. They're not all. They're not like what they say they are. I'm sorry. No, they're not. I can tell you, I've met them and I'm not gonna say where because I don't wanna get in trouble or anything, but let's just put it this way they're narcissistic and they don't really care so much about what they say they are. So, I'm telling you, watch Miss Congeniality, watch the back. You know, there's a little type backstab, not as quite as much as I've seen in real life, but uh, let's just put it this way. I'm calling them out now because I'm tired of this bullshit of let's play Two Face, let's play put the mask on in front of everybody else and win the pageant, and since we're out of there, okay, 360, we're a demon now. <laughs> 
I'm just being honest. I'm just tired of this bullshit that's going on in this world. And I'm speaking out about it. Just like I said, I am blunt and to the point and honest. And I don't give a flying fuck. Who knows about it? It's time to be honest. Let's be honest. And if someone's not going to be honest, I'm going to be honest. I'm tired of it. Done. Done, 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 done. And done. I ain't no perfect. I ain't no 10 either. I'm just me. And I'm proud of it. And if anyone wants to talk about it, well, go ahead. Because you know what? I'm proud of myself. And I think all my family members that are on our channel could be proud of themselves for being who they are. You don't have to be like everyone else. Be yourself. Because you know what, family? I love you just the way you are. And I know you probably love me the way I am. At least that's what I think. I could be wrong about that. But then again, it's not your fault for what I just said because I have uh, what they call um, self-doubt in myself. I also have uh, image issues. So I'm going to already admit to that one. So, And I have trust issues. Which I wonder why with all the crap I've been through. But I'm just being honest. I'm tired of all this anymore. Why can't just people just be happy? And that's what I have to talk about. I didn't really think I would talk all this time about just... I just got very... got very... I can't think of the word. I got so in the moment about it. And felt so strong about it. It's, I just, I'm so tired of hearing all this crap. I just... I want people just to be happy. And I want people just to love one another. Not like the 60s, let's love everybody <laughs> situation. Although there's no problem with that one, but I'm just saying, I just want people to be happy. But why does everyone have to drag others down just to get ahead? I mean, yeah, we see this in competition with soccer, or driving, you name it. It's all out there. Someone's got to drag somebody else down just to get ahead. And that's even in the workforce area, and I'm tired of that too. It's like, come on, people, can't you just be. I know sometimes you gotta be mean to get down to the whatever, wherever, whatever it is. And well, I still don't think that's it. I don't agree with it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't agree with that at all. That's probably why I haven't got gotten so far in life. Cause I am the honest when I do tell the truth. I am blunt to the point. People don't like it, so they run out of the direction, and then they see I'm a crazy person or whatever, just because I'm being honest with them, or because I have different views in them, or I have different political views, or whatever it is. They run the direction. Well, that's their problem. Uh uh, Barbie. Uh 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 uh. No. So, anyways, on all those notices, probably things you shouldn't list on there, I did anyways, because I don't give a blank fuck. Or two shits, like most people say. And yes, we got a lot of F words in this one. I'm just being myself, venting, and letting people know what I really think about this whole fuck situation we're in and I'm tired of it and yes I'm stepping out and I'm saying something I'm tired of it I'm done with keeping quiet I've always got told to shut up not anymore I'm not all right guys well we got it's time to get look going I have some of my things left in there it's about two minutes left so anyways um, all right guys well it's I'm so glad I could talk about these topics. If you have anything, talk about it below, comment about it, but be respectful because I will not tolerate anything otherwise. You need to be respectful. Okay? I love you guys. Alright guys. If you guys are, are wanting to become a member of our family, please give a hugy to that subscriber button and give a to that like button because you just love it and the fact that it's honest <laughs> all right guys i love you guys and i miss you guys sorry about the video not being there yesterday i really do apologize for going through a lot of crap like always life itself you know how it is all right guys i love you i miss you guys all right guys this is dancing solos and i'm signing off